Alright, this video is on the 21st century 1 9th scale Abrams tank. This thing is an absolute beast. And this one, I'll just we're just going to talk about a battery upgrade on these things. Uh, we're all familiar. These batteries run on these heavy as heck uh, 12 volt uh, lead acid batteries. And in, to upgrade these, if you're going to go out there and use these, I find on these Abrams, these 21st century tanks, every time you take them out, something's going to break. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, you just got to get used to fixing these things. O over the years, this plastic becomes very brittle. Uh, on this tank, um, you really got to watch these wheels. If they are at the core, if they are black plastic wheels, put it on a shelf, display it. Don't ever play with it. Uh, the black plastic wheels have become very, very brittle and um, basically very hard to use. I've got a little example of that. Here is an example of the black plastic wheel. Um, if it's Obviously this plastic is painted, but if you look inside, it's a black plastic. And as you can see, that is what happens if you pick up a stone. They crack very easily, like potato chips almost. Uh, and this is a black plastic. Now this entire tank is mostly black plastic. The housing is black plastic, so it makes everything brittle. So if you wreck into something, it's gonna break. Uh, but for the most part, when this thing stays in one piece, as long as you're not crash, get into things. Um, as you can see, the insides, this is the white plastic. This is flexible, this doesn't break. So there's a lot of components on here that are white plastic, and I have no problems with those. Uh, but if you look inside, this wheel you see that black plastic where it's not painted so what you want to look for I went and replaced all the wheels on it with white plastic or a cream color plastic and the way to find them is to look inside here and the cream plastic wheels they're flexible they don't crack like this and so you're safe to take the ones out if your wheels are that cream color plastic um, and if you know 21st century tanks these front ones will break all the time I had to put thick epoxy on these um, to hold the wheel holders, they'll all break off. A lot of epoxy uh, was placed on this, and some epoxy was placed for preventative maintenance. So that being said, a good thing to do on these tanks is take off a lot of weight. Um, and this right here is a lot of weight. This comes when you're trying to turn in grass and gravel. The more this tank weighs, the more stress it's going to put on the drivetrain. Uh, so the best upgrade I found for replacing this battery online is with this this is a 12 volt 3800 milliamp hours uh, replacing this this is 7.2 amp hours so always this is about you know more than twice the capacity as this one but with the extra weight that is going to actually draw more current and weigh down the battery more. So with a lighter weight, the tank will use less energy. Just to show you how much lighter, we set up a scale. Oh, that bugger's heavy. So if we put this battery in the tank, uh, whoop, that's kilograms. Let's change this over to pounds. There we go, pounds. <laughs> so we're at uh, four pounds nine ounces nine and three eighths ounces so about four pounds ten ounces battery that we're gonna put in here is one pound <laughs> so in a half an ounce pound and a half an ounce so you are literally saving you know three pounds uh, nine ounces that's uh, three pounds helps uh, definitely runs and drives better with a lot less weight on there and uh, we'll pause here to show you how that's done. So you're going to take the existing wire that you have with the tank. Uh, and instead of these connectors that are connect here, you're just going to go to hardware store and buy some of these uh, female or male connectors. Let me pull one out. Oops, sorry, a little. <laughs> As you can see there, and then this is the connector. You're going to add, you're going to want to get one of these um, types of style connectors. You can get these off eBay uh, that will mate up 
to this battery connector. You can see there. So you want to purchase one of these. I think these are Tamiya connectors. Uh, this, this battery runs about $12 to $15. Uh, and they're C-cell size. And uh, just puppies on like that. And I covered up one of these uh, with electric tape so they don't short out. You should cover up and cover them both up. Uh, with these, you can use a standard uh, RC car battery charger. Uh, you're not going to want to use the same charger that you used on this. Uh, save a little money. This is $25 to replace it. It's so three and a half extra pounds. This is about 15 bucks. Usually free shipping. So let's go ahead and see how that fits. I always hate turning. This is like the worst part of this tank. Getting this turret to turn uh, when you don't have power to the tank. Pop open the door. I'm kind of doing this with one hand. Now there's the stock connector. So I apologize. I got like one hand here to kind of hold the camera. We're connected there. Connect up your battery. Connect up the battery and put it in there. And, and that thing is a perfect fit. Your tank's three and a half pounds lighter. Pop that in there. <laughs> this is usually ready to roll. Uh, I've run this for 15, 20 minute spurts. Here and there, I haven't run into any issues of battery life. Uh, maybe I'll have to do an extended test to see how long this battery lasts. But I played with it 15-20 minutes and got bored, and the battery was still had a lot of juice, and the tank handled great. Uh, it was a little quicker, a little more nimble, with a, with a little extra, extra weight, less weight on on the tank overall. Uh, so, like I said, it's a really, really good upgrade. Um, you can see it's got a little, it's a little bit of room in there, so it's not going to fly out. Um, and that's pretty much all you got to buy. The battery, look for this Tamiya connector with some wires on it. Uh, what I did is I had an old RC car. I just cut this off of, the, of another RC car, and it fit right up. So that's really the only modifications you got to do here. And it really saves, makes this thing last a little longer if you're out there playing with it um, and having fun with it. As you can see here, some battle damage. <laughs> Uh, again, thanks for watching.